Well, as midterm elections inch closer, Tennessee Representative Marsha Blackburn is getting ready to battle it out for a Senate seat left vacant by Republican Bob Corker. She says even if he changes his mind and doesn't decide to retire, she's still, quote, in it to win it. One America's Emerald Robinson has more from Capitol Hill. There's been some chatter on the Hill this week that Senator Bob Corker is rethinking his decision to retire and give up his Senate seat, one that Tennessee Congresswoman Marsha Blackburn is now running for. But Representative Blackburn says either way, she's committed to this race and she's in it to win it. I've got a race to run. I am committed to it. I'm a pretty good decision maker. So when he announced his retirement, I focused on what was uh, the due diligence, if you will. I made my decision and I have to tell you, I think all this rhetoric and scuttlebutt, it doesn't do anything but help Chuck Schumer and the Democrats. So it doesn't make a difference for you? It does not you at that. all. I'm in. I'm committed and I am going to win. Blackburn says that's because she's in line with what Tennesseans want. And they want a conservative U.S. Senator who is going to stand with the president and who is going to push his agenda forward. Well, and it sounds like the president is going to stand with you. You talked with him on the phone. He gave you encouragement. Can you tell us exactly what he said to you? You know, that was a conversation between the two of us. But I'm always pleased when the president uh, engages. That's where Senator Corker might have a problem after having publicly feuded with the president. If he did decide to enter the race to retain his seat in a state, that the president and his policies are very popular. If you uh, talk to people in Tennessee, a majority uh, are for the president. I think the polling numbers show that his approval rating with general election voters is uh, in the high 60s. People like the policies of President Donald Trump. Policies like tax reform, continuing to push back against Obamacare, and securing the southern border by building a wall, all of which Representative Blackburn says she supported in the House and will continue to support in the Senate given the opportunity. Blackburn says she will work to support the president's infrastructure plan, especially to provide high-speed Internet access to rural communities, which she says is the number one issue in Tennessee. Having high-speed Internet will be transformational for rural America, and it will be transformational for rural Tennessee. We have 82 rural counties in Tennessee. You're not going to get jobs growth there unless you have high-speed Internet. Representative Blackburn said that based on what she is hearing from her fellow Tennesseans about the performance of tax reform and other policies, she's not concerned about the blue wave many outlets are predicting for the 2018 midterms. I think that this blue wave is something that the Democrats would like to see. I think the liberal press would like to see it, but I think that what you're going to see from voters all across this country, they are going to prove their independence just like they did in the 2016 presidential election. Representative Blackburn added that she wouldn't be surprised if three or four more candidates, including Corker, jumped into the race before that April filing deadline. But she says that doesn't concern her. She says Tennesseans want a pro-business, pro-life and pro-family candidate. And she says that's exactly what she is. In Washington, Emerald Robinson, One America News. We can use your help. Call your cable provider and kindly demand that One America News is added to your lineup. Call today.